What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and today I'm showing you my recipe for New York strip steaks grilled hot and fast. Now, you may have seen this recipe from me before. This is a Hey Grill Hey viral YouTube recipe. The original video has over 1.8 million views, but half of the comments are people complaining about how it's out of focus at the end. <laughs> so we're reshooting it today. Everything's in focus. The recipe remains the same because everybody who has tried it has loved it and comes back to it over and over again. This is one of those surefire backyard barbecue hero hits, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's do it. Step one for these beautiful strip steaks is a dry brine. And dry brining is a process of salting the exterior of your meat. It pulls moisture out, mixes with the salt on the outside, sucks that salty water back in, and gives you a beautifully seasoned, incredibly juicy piece of meat from the inside to the outside. Here's how I like to dry brine my steaks. I'm gonna place each steak on a flat cooling rack above a baking sheet. I'm gonna season each steak on both sides with flaky kosher salt. It's about one teaspoon of salt per steak. You can go a little bit more or a little bit less. You just want nice, even coverage on both sides. Now I'm going to let my steaks sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes. It could take up to an hour. It's less about the time and more about what you're seeing on the outside of your steak. So I know my steak is ready when the moisture has pulled back into the meat itself. I don't see any more flakes on top of the steak, except maybe around just some pockets of fat where there wasn't moisture to pull out from the meat itself. And that means that all of that salty liquid has been pulled back into the steak. Before I grill off my steaks, I want to make my compound resting butter. Now this is a finishing butter that goes on the steaks after we take it off the grill and it's nice and hot. All these flavors are going to melt around the outside of the steak and also heat up the aromatics inside of the resting butter. It's very simple to make and once you start making it, you're gonna have resting butter on hand for every steak that you ever make for the rest of your life. It's unbelievable. I start with four tablespoons of softened salted butter. To that, I add two cloves of minced garlic. I actually use a microplane to grate my garlic because it gives me the most garlic flavor and really small pieces that are easily heated by the steak once I spoon it over the top. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves. I'm gonna stir all of these aromatics together into my compound butter and just set it aside until my steaks are ready to go. What I like to do the most is paint a teaspoon or so of my compound butter onto the cutting board. So they're sitting exactly where the steaks are going to sit when they come off of that hot grill. So I'll get some underneath and then some on the top once those steaks are ready. The grill's preheated, the resting butter is ready, and it's time to grill these beautiful New York strip steaks. I start by laying each steak at a 45 degree angle directly on my hot grill grates. Close the lid and cook for about two to three minutes. Open the lid, rotate 90 degrees. That'll give me those beautiful cross hatch marks on my steaks. Close the lid, cook for another two, three minutes, and then it's time to flip. process on the opposite side, two to three minutes, close the lid, open, <laughs> flip it 90 degrees, two to three more minutes, and that should give me a beautiful medium rare steak. I'm looking for temperatures between 130 and 135 degrees. If you want yours more done, leave it on longer. If you want it less done, take it off sooner. But I have found that that kind of eight to 12 minute mark is a sweet spot. A good internal thermometer is my best friend when it comes to cooking steaks because I don't have to guess on doneness. Time is always a great suggestion, but temperature is the golden rule when it comes to cooking steaks. I'm really happy with 130 degrees, so I'm gonna take my strip steaks off and nestle them onto the bed of resting butter that I have spread onto my cutting board. I'm also going to top each steak with a little bit more of that resting butter and just let them chill out. I want them to rest for at least eight to 10 minutes before I start slicing them. Because I grilled these hot and fast, that carryover cooking time is gonna run a little bit longer than it would with a low and slow cooked steak. So eight to 10 minutes will give you a beautiful steak. It'll still be hot and ready to serve. And my final finishing touch that I love the most is some fresh grated black pepper over the top. 
Now you'll notice I didn't season the steaks with black pepper before I put them on the grill. The reason for that is at 900 degrees, that black pepper tends to burn and turn bitter. Salt is really the only seasoning that you need for this style of high temperature cooking. And then any extra flavor we want, that comes in with the resting butter and that fresh black pepper cracked all over the top. They're beautiful steaks covered in the resting butter, fully rested. It's time to slice. Now, I actually like to slice before serving, but you can obviously serve a whole steak if that's how you like to eat it. I just like to shingle it. I think the presentation is beautiful, first of all, but it also gives extra opportunity for that resting butter to really get in between each slice of steak. Oh, I can smell the garlic and the thyme from that resting butter. My mouth is absolutely watering like crazy. Now let's take a look in the middle because a lot of times cooking hot and fast scares people. They're worried that it's gonna be overcooked on the outside, undercooked on the inside. But when your temperature is right, when you're tracking with a thermometer, you don't have to worry. You will end up with your perfect medium rare with that gorgeous crispy crust on the outside. That's perfectly pink all the way through and just begging for me to take a bite. Mm. Now, I love a New York strip steak. It's usually not as marbled as a ribeye or as tender as a filet, but it's this perfect midpoint in flavor and texture where you get a little bit of chew, good beefy flavor, and that resting butter on the outside just takes it over the top. Nothing's overpowering the beef itself. The seasoning is really only salt and pepper, but the thyme and the garlic just make this into a steak that feels very special. And considering you can grill it very quickly, I think it's perfect for a weeknight meal or a special occasion when you have people over and wanna serve them something a little extra that doesn't require a ton of work. I think you're gonna love this one. Maybe this video will go as viral as the first video. That would be freaking awesome. So if you like this, leave a comment below. Let's boost some of the engagement and see if we can uh, make this one take over the old video that honestly was, it wasn't great. The recipe's solid. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments section. You can grab the full printable recipe on heygrillhay.com or on the Hey Grill Hay app. We'll see you next time. It's so good.